everyone. Welcome to the Berry Connected Podcast um, with your host, Brenda, me, and ProCare Health as our sponsor. So thank you for being here. I'm really excited about this one. Um, I worked really hard on making sure this is one of the best ones we've offered so far. It's on apps. A lot of patients as they get ready for surgery are looking for ways to kind of simplify their routine and phone apps is definitely one of the ways to go. Some of these apps can be used on a laptop or computer, um, but you know the smartphone is a carry along tool that we can use as well. So say hi if you're joining us. I'd love to know where you're from, if this is your first time or if you've been with us before, what community you're coming from. I also will say that our attendance uh, as you register for this event is recorded and I'll be sending that to many different facilities that request attendance for these support groups. So thank you for joining and I usually send that in about a week to capture all of the attendance from all of our previous, uh, from, from all of the live events and the replays as well. This event is being recorded. It will be on replay. So if you have to jump off early, just know that it will be available using the same link for a, a very limited time. So by the end of the month, that link will be gone, but it'll be on our ProCare Health YouTube channel, which we have created and we have over 150 replays on there already. So be watching for that. It'll be uploaded by at least minimum of next week. We're also migrating and we've created something new we are also being listed on podcasts so all of the favorite podcasts out there spotify our iheart radio you know all of those that you normally listen to if you're kind of an audio kind of person you know check that out this will be on there we also have all of our may and june events um have been recorded and placed on there. So that's something brand new. Look under Barry Connected, B-A-R-I space Connected. And I'm just looking at all the comments coming in. Oh my Lord, it's wonderful. Seeing people from all over the United States and Canada. And we had um, over 250 people sign up for this support group. So I appreciate all the love and I hope you guys get lots and lots of great information from this. Um, feel free to use the chat box to be able to share with each other. Um, because it is such a large group, it's gonna be hard for me to catch all the questions. I had over probably 50 questions that were submitted. I'm gonna definitely try to touch on some of those as we go through, and I'll also leave some time for a Q&A. We do have a Q&A box at the very bottom it's on the bottom of my screen. I'm assuming it's on the bottom of your screen. If you're joining us um, on the live version, you can do that. If you're joining, you know, later on a replay, you know, feel free to use the chat boxes um, or comments within YouTube and the podcast. So welcome everybody. Thank you for being here. Um, I am going to just kind of browse through. I'm looking at all these wonderful people that are joining us from all over. Uh, and everybody's on a different part of their journey. So this, these support groups are very um, generalized. They're meant for people who are still pre-op. They're meant for patients that are fresh post-ops. Talked to a few people that were fresh post-op today, this last week. Um, also, maintenance. You know, I'm 10 years out from bariatric surgery. Um, my background is in nursing. I was actually worked in the emergency department for like 20 years and then I did quality management. Um, I worked in, following that, I worked in a bariatric surgery clinic for about eight years. And then since then, I've been at ProCare Health um, doing these kind of support events. And this is probably one of my favorite things that I do is being able to join with all of you beautiful people out there. Um, so thank you so much for, for joining. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jump right in. I hope you guys can hear me okay. You can see me okay. Um, we changed over to Zoom webinar. And since we've done that, it's been amazing. I love it. I think it's easier for people. Our previous uh, platform was called Crowdcast and um, we were having some technical things with it. I loved it, but we were having some technical stuff. So this, I feel people so much easier. Um, this, it looks like that we have um, VR 
Ar Arlene. Um, and I know you've joined us before, so I see, um, I know you've been with us. I recognize your voice, <laughs> recognize your, your name and Yes, keep chatting amongst yourselves. In the meantime, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get started because I have 24 bariatric surgery apps. Now, some of them are geared just for bariatric surgery. Some of them are for anyone, you know, regardless of where you are. Like I pick them out um, specifically because some of them I've used myself. Some of them, as I was doing my research, I'm like, oh, this is interesting. And I thought I had to share them. So I picked out some of my favorites and please feel free in the chat box to share your favorites. I will, um, and as we're going through, I noticed that there's um, some people commenting. Uh, I will, as far as attendance, if you jumped on late, just so you know, I will be sending all of the attendants for everyone that registered to the bariatric programs that are signed up for that. So no worries about having to, to put anything inside um, the Q&A box. I will 100% be doing that um, for you. Use that Q&A box for questions that you have. And again, if you jumped on late, I also have all of the questions that were submitted during the registration process. So I'll be going through some of those as well. So, um, okay guys, keep, keep going with the chat and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be, um, sharing my screen here in just a moment. I'm going to try to click on and, um, make sure that I have everything kind of pulled up for you. Wonderful people before I do that. So give me one second here. I'm gonna get in my presentation mode. Okay. Okay, we're gonna be starting out here and I'm hoping I am making sure that I have this really nice and big for you guys. So I am, give me one second here. Okay. Gotta love technology. Here we go, guys. Oh, I love the love. Procare vitamins are the best. I love Procare Health. Yes. They're, so my background with Procare, I'll have to share that with you here a little bit too. I'm going to enter full screen mode so that you can see. I'm going to kind of put my chat box so I can kind of keep an eye on the chat as we're going through. And um, it's interesting. So whenever I worked for a clinic out of Cape Girardeau, Missouri, uh, I worked for a surgeon that actually was friends with one of the surgeons that helped create Procare Health Vitamins back in 2010. And he's like, we got to use these vitamins for our clinic. So we started ordering them and we kept them in stock in our clinic. And what happened was, is I just got to know the staff at Procare because they're from Lake St. Louis. Procare office is, their main office is located in Lake St. Louis, Missouri. So they were, you know, two and a half, three hours from our office. And they would come down and do support groups for me. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. Um, we carried s several other brands of bariatric surgery vitamins. Um, but what happened is, is a lot of our patients were just very happy about being able to use ProCare because the price point, they're so inexpensive. And they have all of the things that are recommended by the ASMBS, which is American Society for Metabolic and Bariatric Surgery. So people were drawn to them and they're easy. You know, their most popular bariatric multivitamin is their one a day. And so what, what happened was, is they were our biggest seller. And then um, because of that, ProCare Health asked me to start coming to events with them. So I started traveling back in 2017 to vendor events, to, mostly to professionals, because at that time there wasn't the all of the fun bariatric patient retreats like there are now. Um, but I would travel maybe five or six times a year with them. I did that for a couple years. And then um, 
just kind of developed a relationship. And then in 2019, our clinic closed and I was like heartbroken because I loved my job so much and um, reached out to Nick. He'd always told me he's the CEO of ProCare. He said, if you ever want a job, just reach out to me. So that's what I did. And they just kind of created a job. So <laughs> that's why I'm here. This is what I'm doing. I did support groups for our um, clinic that we worked at, but I also did a lot of other things. I did um, a lot of the pre-op education. I did post-op education. And again, had bariatric surgery myself. You'll also find some of the stuff. Um, I I am a certified life coach. I also am certified in something called Healing Touch. Let me know if you've heard of that. Um, it's a uh, integrative health type of, of thing. So I'm going to get started. I just want to jump in. Um, but that's enough about me. Continue talking about. Um, continue talking about your story. Um, so, 24 apps. Okay, 24 bariatric surgery um, or just weight loss surgery apps or meal prep apps. I don't know. I have all kinds of stuff in here. The first one I have is Berrytastic. Now, probably most of you have, have heard of Berrytastic. Um, I know in our clinic it was really popular. Some programs actually have Berrytastic connected to their weight loss surgery program. Let me know. Um, oh, Anna says my best friend is a healing touch practitioner. <laughs> It's amazing. The name of the organization that I'm with is Healing Beyond Borders. <laughs> um, I just typed that in. Uh, so let me know if your program uses this very tastic. It's actually such a cool um, thing. What I like about it is you can actually track your weight. So it'll give you like a little graph up and down where you are in your process. So like if you want to know if you're going up in your weight, down in your weight, and like when you weighed last, I want to, and you can actually backtrack. Say so like you're just starting the app now and maybe you had surgery two years ago. You could actually go back in and, and like time that date and that type of thing. Um, one of my favorite things is, is they have ways to log um, your meals. It's super easy. You can scan your foods. Um, you can you can actually type it in like if it doesn't have it. I will tell you I've tried so many different um, tracking apps as far as for weight loss like that are not even bariatric and this is one of my favorites. For one thing it doesn't tell you that you're um, like some of them will say you're not eating enough. Eat more. Eat more because your bariatric surgery patient and your meal size is so small. So it does not do that. It does also track your measurements. You can track your exercise, your water. You can set reminders. I have reminders set on mine for like water. Um, I have it for taking my medications um, and it'll beep for you and it'll just send up a little pop-up on your smartphone. Um, and also I know Chi a manual, manual um, bariatric program. I see some of you are on this call from that program and they actually have their program connected where their support groups pop up and you can connect with their support groups. And I know some of you have done that because you're here with me on the call. So that's cool. Um, also, you can take photos and journal in it, which I love. I look back at some of my journaling and it's so cool. There's no price for this if you're a patient. Um, some of the programs do pay a price to have extra things added in. So like if you wanted to talk to their dietitian, they can pull up your food, food logs if they have a paid version. Um, they could still, you could pull up your food log for them if you wanted to and show them. Um, but if they wanted to pull it up on their app, they could do that if they have the paid version. They also, um, with the paid version, I think that they can send reminders and do other things. So, but for patients, it's all free. There's no cost whatsoever. <laughs> okay, the second one here, I'm going to kind of go on. I'm not used to using the Canva Prevent Mode. Whoops. Ah, there we go. <laughs> I'm not used to, used to using Canva Present Mode. Um, it looks like Anna says, my program recommends Baratastic, but not officially part of them. Um, fit in my fitness pal. Another really top one, I would say, with bariatric surgery patients, a lot of the same exact things that you can do with Berrytastic. You know, you can um, you can make goals, you can track your calories, you can track your macros with both of these. Like, if you want to know how much pro by macros, I mean like protein, how many carbs, how many fats, 
it'll do all that for you in both buried hastic and my fitness pal um so like if you're wanting to get certain amounts of your macros you can kind of do that it'll track your weight um it has the bar code scanning for uh making it save time you know i'm time saver that's one of the hardest things that i found about tracking foods is that <laughs> it takes time um i know some programs re require some logging before surgery so if your program does just know that that is um i'm gonna kind of grab my microphone i didn't realize that i was so far away from it i apologize i'm grabbing it in here so it's close up hope you guys can hear me a little better on the recording as well so here we go um oh Nicole says, I sound perfect. So good. Um, so that's about everything on My Fitness Pal. Really, it's very, very similar. No cost to My Fitness Pal, as far as I'm aware. I've tried it a couple different times, and um, it's really just a preference thing. You know, you can always try both and kind of see which one fits, fits you better. Um, this next one is called My Plate. And I think it's so interesting. This is actually the USDA, the government, actually has meal plans for people like they help help people now these might not be exactly as what's recommended by your bariatric surgery program so just be aware of that but they have their own little app um, they simplify it by kind of making a plate of fruits vegetables grains protein and that type of thing i'm actually going to pop off of this because i want to pop on to um, this short little video it's like 45 seconds that i'm going to show you on that app Okay, I'm going to stop sharing there. And it says, Anna says, you have to pay to see the macros on MFP. What does MFP? Did I, is that one I mentioned? I hope I didn't miss something. Okay. Okay, I'm going to be sharing here. It takes me just a second sometimes to switch between. Okay, and I want to make, I want to share the sound. Okay, here we go, guys. I'm going to make this bigger so you guys can see it bigger, and then we'll turn this on. Okay, guys, that was just a little longer than 45. I didn't realize, but um, still has lots of great things. Um, I see, oh, for Fitness Pal Premium to know macros. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, that's good to know. That's something that they must have changed because I can remember tracking. So I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that. Um, you know, a lot of these apps do have extended versions and I can understand that, you know, they're in the, the business to make money. So uh, some of the ones that I mentioned may have additional paid options as well. Um, Elizabeth says, my son is looking for an app and it looks like Eileen says, I see the nutrition on my fitness pal without the premium charge. So all good to know. Now I noticed there's some Q and a, and I'm going to um, keep, keep putting questions in there. I will try to answer as I kind of go through. Um, I am getting ready to share my screen again. I'm going to go back 
to the um, little presentation that we were showing. So give me a second here and here we go. So that was my plate. That was an app for my plate. And I'm going to try to, I guess I just have to, my screen is a touch screen, so it's a little sensitive. Okay, so the next one is called Lose It, okay, Lose It app. And whether you're, again, another, fit, it's kind of another tracking app, you know, food tracking. Um, so whether you're looking to lose weight, tone up, or just watch what you eat, food tracking is key. For me, it's been one of the biggest ways to help me with feeling better about my choices because it helps you be mindful. You know, if you're writing down what you're eating, it makes you more aware of what you're putting in your mouth instead of ha how many of us, <laughs> I know for myself, sometimes I'll get through the day and I'm like, oh my gosh, what did I eat? Like, really, what did I eat? I don't even remember. Um, it looks like Anna says, I, I use lose it. Adrian says, this is the best one. I like it quite a bit. Um, Sharon says, love it. Let me know too, if there's some other apps, you know, that you use for food tracking, if there's something else, um, somebody else has referred to me by, a it looks like Adrian referred to me by a fellow support group members in my practice. And, um, that's great. Yeah. Anna says tracking water and seeing macros is a premium feature. My office, my office uses Carium. Oh, I'm going to have to, I'm going to write that down. I'm going to check that out. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you. Um, this one here, it does say, um, it has a very good barcode scanner database, over 50 million foods, um, calorie schedule that lets you plan to eat more on weekends, um, makes tracking easy, may get to premium, all features, but pricing is low. So 29 to $39 per year for the premium version. Um, but you can do a lot on just the other app as well. It sounds like a lot of you really like this. Um, Jamie says, lose it and carb manager are my favorite. I use both. And I have not seen carb manager. So I'm going to check that one out too. I'm writing these down. Always good to be able to share, you know. Now, the next one here is actually something a lot of you may or may not even have known you have. Some of you may be very aware. Um, it's something my daughter kind of brought it to my attention. Um, she is kind of a fitness um, person. She loves being involved. She actually also works for ProCare Health. Her name is Madison. Some of you may have known her, um, met her. She works on the West Coast area. She has an area. Um, she's a territory manager for ProCare Health. Um, but what I was going to say is your smartphone, whether you use a Apple product or you use an Android product, uh, has features. Now mine is called health and I have an Apple phone. So I'm pulling mine up and mine looks like this. It has like a little circle. Oh, I got to hold it up to the, see that um, square with the heart in it. That is what mine looks like on the app. And so when you push that button, it actually has probably, if you've been carrying your phone around with you, it's probably been recording data and you did not even know it. Is that crazy? It records your steps. Like if you have your phone with you, it records your sleep patterns. It records um, so many things. Uh, heart rate. Um, it can record if the heart rate is more of one that will record if you have a watch accessory like a Fitbit watch or some type of of device on your on your wrist and we're going to talk about those in just a little bit um but it will also help you track your medications, um, irregularities like atrial fib. If you're a female, it actually can help you with tracking your menstrual periods. Um, it's just amazing all the different things that are on this little free app. It looks like uh, Amber says, I am not seeing your screen. Is anybody else not seeing my screen? Maybe I need to fix something. Um, Lauren says, it's really great. Super user friendly. The scale my office gave me. Um Sorry with all the extra comments. Oh, okay. A couple people are saying they see it. Maybe at Amber, try refreshing your screen and see if that helps. I'm hoping that helps. 
Lauren says, it's really great. Super user friendly. The scale may, my office gave me links to the app so they get all of that info. They set reminders, notifications through the app. I love it. Definitely check it out. Although I'm not sure if people can use it without a doctor's office being linked. Lauren, which app are you talking about? Because I know we've kind of been skipping around. I'd love to know which one your doctor's office links to. And then it looks like several other people here are. I'm going down to the new messages. Um, okay, Carrium. Okay, okay, Carrium. I'm gonna. I wrote that down. I'm gonna be checking that out. Anybody else use the health health apps on their phone? Yes, iPhone is called Health. You're right, and it's a default in the factory settings. So it's actually already on your phone. You do do not have to download anything. But I love it for. St- tracking steps specifically. And whenever I wear my watch, I love it for watching my sleep patterns. I love to see where my heart rate is during my sleep, how deep a sleep I'm in, that type of thing. It's so interesting. So this is a a really fun one. I'm going to kind of go on to the next one. Um, Fit on. Oh my God, you guys. I am in love with this app. This is something I just came up on. I don't know. Our phones listen to us. So they hear everything that we're saying. I saw an ad. I think it was on Facebook or something. And I was like, holy cow, I need to check this out. Um, It's a video fitness app that features workouts in a wide range of styles, including weight training, stretching and yoga, kickboxing, high intensity, interval cardio, hit dance. I hope I'm saying it right, bar um, or beret, meditation, um, so much more. You can follow along. They actually do a lot of um, tweaking. Like if you um, are not at the same level they are, they'll give you modifications. Um, Looks like Eileen's going back to, it says, I bought mine up on Samsung, how to adjust the daily calorie allowance. Now, I'm not sure about that. If anybody knows that, how to to, um, adjust that on the Samsung phone, please let Eileen, no, let her know. I'm going to actually stop sharing for just a second because I want to show you kind of what that fit on app looks like because I actually have it on my, um, I have it on my, whoops. I have it on my smartphone. So it's an app that you can put on your smartphone, but you can actually use it on your TV. If you have a smart TV, you guys, you can download this app on your smart TV. So I'm going to share my screen here again and show you that. Okay. Okay. Here is the fit on app. Okay. So this is their website. I just logged on to my account and it shows you how many workouts you've done. Okay. Um, how many minutes, how many calories you can invite other people. Um, look at all these workouts. Like there's some for 21 minutes or some for 24. All of this is free. I am not kidding guys. I thought, how can they do this? So apparently they do sell, uh, meal plans. So like if you go up under their meals, you, um, there are some free things, but you can also, um, subscribe to their meal plans. Like look at all these different foods they have for free stuff. Um, but you can subscribe and get meal plans sent to you so that you have them. Uh, but no, it's for the most part, it's free. You can download it on your smart TV. You can dial on on your phone for on the go. Um, they have workouts that are five minutes, 10 minutes. They actually even have just laying down and meditating, you know, like in stretching, which sometimes is fun if you're not really in the mood to do a full blown out workout. So I'm going to kind of stop sharing there for a second. Go back to main screen. Um, Adrian says it may be tied to your profile activity level. Pick sedentary, even though that's not true. That said, I drove down my calorie need on lose it. Okay. Probably talking about the Samsung. Yeah. Good idea. (laughs) Trick that baby. (laughs) Okay. Okay. We're going to go on to the next slide, guys. And... Here's the next one. Step bet. Oh my gosh. This is something I found about two years ago. So, so fun. Oh my gosh. Okay. So is anybody here part of the Berry Nation? I'm going to type that in the chat box. Berry Nation group. They're a community and ProCare sponsors that their group. And we um, do our, we have these events hosted within their group. 
Anna, maybe. Um, anyways, Barry Tastic is where I learned. I'm um, sorry, uh, Step Bet. I learned from it from the Barry Nation crew. They did several Step Bet challenges. So basically, what it is is someone sets up a challenge within Step Bet, or you can just you can go on there and just go into a random challenge and just kind of um, check it out. But basically, oh, Anna says I'm part of Barry Nation. I agree. It's such a wonderful community. You guys check out Barry Nation. Um, it is a paid community but it is, um, you get to be such close friends with all of these people. (laughs) Kathy. Oh, hi, Kathy. I see Kathy's been on here with me before. Kathy Hill is a, um, Barry Nation member, but she's also a coach. Um, a little shout out to her anyways. So these, um, guys, these challenges are meant to be, you pay $40, Okay. Um, you can kind of see on my screen here, right here, $40, um, depending on how many people enter, each person has that amount in. So like if everybody did it and there was 300 members, it'd be like $12,000 would be the, um, the pool. Okay. And so if you stay in the challenge for the total amount of time, and I think the two of them that I've done, I think we're right around six weeks. And so you, ha- there's a goal so for so many days a week, I think it was six out of the seven days. Um, and there was a challenge. Mine was set. It, it goes by a lot of different things, but my mine was set up to be about 7,000 steps on regular days. And then I had these um, days that I had to get more steps. And those days were around 12,000, I think. Um, but so fun. It, it motivates you to track your steps and you can track it on your health app you know, or whether you're on the smartphone or Android version, it'll, you just carry it in your pocket or whatever, or hold it while you're walking. So anybody else try step bet? So fun. Um, only $40. And if you stay in the challenge the entire time, you earn part of the pool. So if there's only, say if there's 300 people that start, but only a hundred people that end, um, you get to divide up that money pool. So fun. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to say is YouTube. So this is something, again, my daughter turned me on to. She's like, mom, like I, I was I was needing inspiration during the whole COVID thing. I'm like, I need some inspiration for workouts. And she's like, you just go onto YouTube and you find your favorite people um, to be able to help you. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to try this. So yes, there is hundreds and hundreds of YouTube videos out there. Um, feel free, you know, to can check those out. Um, we actually have on our pro care channel, I thought it would be a good opportunity for me to show you. We actually have some workouts on our pro care channel. Um, we have Dr. Connie Stapleton did a three part series on workouts. Um, we also have a three part series from Amy, Amy Posados, um, who, um, did one on fitness. All three of hers are not on workouts. I think the second one is a workout. Um, she has it, how to prepare, to, uh, how to prepare on, um, getting ready for workouts. Then she has the workouts and then she has, um, nutrition around workouts. Whereas Connie, um, she has videos specifically on yoga. Um, she has a chair yoga video. She has one for back pain and back issues. Um, and then, I have to remember what the third one is. We're going to actually jump off here and we're going to jump onto that onto our YouTube channel so I can show you how to find those. Okay. And let's share my screen and share the sound. Okay, here is Dr. Connie Stapleton's Berry Yoga one. I'm not going to play, but just the beginning. So you kind of get an introduction of Connie. She's such a sweet individual. And you guys have to check out her Berry Aftercare program. Connie Stapleton. Hi, welcome to Berry Aftercare. I am Dr. Uh, Connie Stapleton. I'll give you a link here in a second for that too. I've been working in the field of bariatric medicine for almost 20 years. A couple of years ago, at the ripe old age of 60, yes, indeed, I decided to go to yoga training school to become a yoga teacher with the express purpose of teaching yoga to the bariatric patients with whom I worked. I've been. She's awesome. 
I'm going to just pause it there. Um, if you guys are interested though, like our pro care health, I'll show you what that looks like on our channel. And, um, we have all, we have over, we have over 161 videos now on there. Um, subscribe. There's a subscribe button when you get there here, I'll, I'll copy the link. I got to move my bar to copy the link. Um, subscribe and become a follower and you will have options to be able to watch replays and all that good stuff when they first come out. We have um, Connie's series on there, the series on fitness with Amy Posados. And I'm sorry, my dog in the background. His name is Hanks. He likes to cough. <laughs> um, okay. Um, we also like, let's see show you all of our different kinds of videos. We have playlists. We have ProCare Fitness. Um, I don't think Amy's are on those. Hers are in the, the live topics, I think. Um, our support groups are all listed here. If you miss one of those, but we have all of those. So um, frequently asked questions. We have some recipes. Um, the Crowdcast, you can, you can, that was from before. So you don't have to listen to that, but we also have ProCare 101 with Brenda. If you're interested in knowing, um, you know, a little bit about some of our products, we have, um, I think 17 different videos on that. So yeah, check that out guys. I'm going to stop sharing there and I will post the link to our YouTube channel. You can open it up in another tab. And, and like I said, subscribe and It. I'd also love to know if you have a favorite YouTube channel. Um, looks like Catherine says, I love Body Groove on YouTube. Okay, check that out. I'm, gonna, I'm writing these down. Body Groove. Um, Arthur says, I started a strength training course and go three to four times a week. I walk or bike the other day. Wonderful. I always think to me, it's better being in person personally. But if you need something, you know, um, for being at home or depending on lifestyle, you know, not everybody's able to do that, but you do have the ability to walk outside, which is an amazing thing. So thank you for the comments on that. Okay, guys, I'm going to share my screen again here in just a second. And we're going back to the um, apps. And I'm going to kind of go through some of these a little faster. These take a little longer than I thought. And we have 24 to go through. So we're going to um, head speed ahead because I want to try to keep this at around an hour. Um, number nine is common headspace. Um, so there's there are different ones to kind of help with helping you with maybe meditation or just feeling more calm in general. Like if you are struggling with anxiety and you just need a peaceful space, I check out both of those. I have calm on my phone. I absolutely love it. Just kind of, there are paid versions. I think both of these might be a paid version. Um, but check them out. There might be a few free things on there that you can check out for no cost at all. I'm going to put the chat box open just so I can make sure I don't miss anybody. Um, Tara says, Meredith Senior Fitness is awesome and not just for seniors. Oh, I love that, Tara. I'm writing that down too. Okay, next here, um, an app called I Am. Who doesn't like positive affirmations? Who doesn't like things being kind of just up in your face whenever you're maybe having a moment? Um, my phone, I have the app called I Am. And basically what it will do is it will send little fun little pop-ups during the day at different times. This I have the free version. I think there is a paid version. Um but you get daily affirmations. Uh, in fact, I feel like I get more than daily. I feel like I get them more often than that. Maybe somebody uh, from above knows that, or from within knows that I need more than just that one pop up. I feel like I get them more often. But things like um, I am confident in my ability to change my life. I wish I could. I'm like looking here to see if my phone will let me pull up some of the ones that I've had in the past. It's not. So I'm not going to mess with it. But you can personalize your background. You can add little widgets. It's a great little way to kind of just have friendly reminders to help you, you know, just feel, feel, 
I guess, in sync with life, in sync with yourself. And I noticed Nicole Garza, it looks like, and it says one other have their hands raised. Guys, I'm going to probably allow you to please, and Ada has her hand raised. Um, please, please, please put something in the chat box. Let me know um, if there's something that you have a comment or question um, so that I can kind of do that because I'm going to keep going through. And I do really appreciate the input of whatever you have that you might want to say or add to. So please let me know. Oh, Nicole says total accident. (laughs) That's okay. Please feel free. The other thing I have here is podcast apps. Okay. So anybody like listening to podcast and, um, (laughs) <laughs> I have to laugh because um, I we we just recently, as I said, if you caught the beginning of this episode, we recently just started doing podcasts. So we take our audio from these video versions and we put them into podcast form. We started doing that in May. Um, thank you if you're listening on a replay right now, <laughs> because these are will be on replay at some point. Right now, you guys are live, but... Um, we are going, we are on, uh, have to think, um, Spotify, we're on iHeartRadio, we're on the Apple version, like iTunes. Um, so all of those, so Barry connected, I'll write this down and I'll show you how to find some of that, our name and that type of thing here in a little bit, but Barry connected. Um, it looks like It says, Sharon says, does ProCare have any products to help with potential hair loss after surgery? Okay, that's going to be a question we're going to get to here. Hair loss. I'm writing it down. Okay. I have lots of other things too. I think, Sharon, you might have, I don't know if you were one of them that submitted that question, but I did have that question in the um, chat before we began this too. Okay. Kindle. So Kindle is one of those things. You can actually download it from Apple. I'm sorry, from Amazon. Um, I have it on my computer. I'll stop sharing here for just a second and pull up the app if it'll let me. You know what? I'm not going to for time's sake. I'm afraid if I do that, (laughs) I'm afraid if I do that, it's going to take a little bit more extra time. And I'm trying to be very aware of that for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of keep going where we are now. Um, Let me go ahead and full size that again. Um, But I have, so I'll buy books on Amazon or wherever, and it'll download automatically to my Kindle. Anybody else use Kindle for as an app? Okay, Sharon said, I did submit submit the question. Um, Lauren says, you can also sign up for Kindle Unlimited, $10.69 a month, and there are tons of books to read. Um, Anna says, I love Kindle and love reading. Catherine said, I do. You know, it's one of those things. I think our development in ourselves is one of the biggest things that we can do for ourselves. And so, yes, there is a different versions of that, paid versions, if you decide to do it. Pinterest. (laughs) I don't even know if I should say this because probably all of you are already aware but Pinterest, if you are a bariatric surgery patient, you have to have Pinterest, I think. I mean, it's so amazing. There's so many different recipes. There's ideas for meal prep, fast and easy meals. There's low calorie appetizers. There's salads. Um, I have breakfast of champions, um, drink specials, holiday recipes, Instant Pot recipes, um, so many different things. And, you know, it's one of those things you can pop onto so easy. You download the app on your phone, you're making supper, you can put in hamburger recipes. You can put in healthy hamburger recipes. So lots and lots of fun things to check out there. These next couple are just ones that you may want to write down and just check out. I wasn't familiar with them. I did some research, um, it looks like Food Network Kitchen. There is, um, it's how to be a more confident cook with your, with the Food Network. And basically it's stream on demand cooking classes and with network stars, award-winning restaurant chefs, best-selling cookbook authors, um, culinary experts, and even some surprise guest celebrities. So check it out. It's it's one of those things you can download on your phone. I actually was like looking up the web version and there's a web version as well too. So it's just kind of a fun way to kind of maybe check out some new new cooking and different things. Now this one here, Recipe Box, is actually a um, kitchen companion. It's an it's, it allows you to save several of you. I think I had maybe 10 people um, talk, ask on their registration about 
about the recipes and about that type of thing. So I wanted to make sure and focus here on this one. Also, like I said, Pinterest is another one. I think I have one more or two more here also that I'm listing. Um, these slides are all going to be available, guys. Um, yes, they're definitely available. I'm going to give you the link. Um, I can't do it right, what, right now. I will give you the link. It's on our ProCare Health website under Barry Connected Handouts. Um, I'll show you how to get there. Um, but all of these are available so you can look them up later because I knew you'd want to look it up. This is all, this is a lot of information to take in. Um, and it looks like somebody says, I love recipe box. Somebody else says, I like the New York Times cooking app. Eileen says, minimum hair loss after surgery. It comes back even better. You are right about that. So many people who do struggle with that Usually at a year, you have all this regrowth. So it's usually not, it's usually a temporary thing, guys, if you do have that. But we do have supplements that can help. Um, recipe Keeper, here's another one. Um, shopping list, meal planner. You can share it with friends. You can sync it across device. You have support team. There is a free version that works exactly the same as the pro version, except for you get just a number, numbered limited number of recipes. So yes, definitely come back and access these slides. I'm going to actually pause it for just a second and I will share the link for the handouts right now, but I'll also show you how to go directly to them too. I'll share that again later, but I'm going to just share it now for all of the, you guys that are asking, because sometimes people have to pop off, pop off. And I want to make sure you have it just in case you need to go back. So I'm doing that. Okay, we're almost to the, the end. Um, this one is one I found. I was looking for a scale for my bathroom. I wanted, I had to buy a new one because my scale was pooping out and I didn't feel like it was as accurate as I wanted it to be. I wanted, because I would step on it and then I'd step on it again and I'd be the two pounds heavier or two pounds lighter. And I was like, okay, this is not working. So I wanted something that was very accurate. Um, and I had a fitness coach that we were working with. It was actually Amy, Amy Posados who did some of our fitness um, YouTube videos with us. She had one that measured other things like body fat percentage, water, muscle mass, BMI, that type of thing. Now this one here, I bought the scale off Amazon. And then when I got the scale, it actually had directions on how to download the app. And it's called, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Inevafit. Um, I'm going to show you guys it's thirty nine to ninety nine, depending on where you find it on Amazon. I'm going to actually share my screen and I'm going to share how to find it on Amazon. So let me go here to this. I have it pulled up for you guys. Um, I'll copy the link. I have no, you guys, I have, <laughs> we're not an affiliate for any of these things. So I'm just sharing what I found to be helpful for myself. Um, this is the one that I found. Um, that was helpful. There's probably lots of other ones. So, you know, just check it out. If you're like looking for an app to kind of do a little bit more or a scale to do a little bit more for you than just, um, just wait, you know? So let me stop sharing there and I will paste this link in case anybody is interested in checking it out. It looks like other people are posting theirs. Kathy says, I have a Withings scale. It is great. Um, it looks like Eileen says, I love the idea of a recipe app. I keep favorites as email attachments, but it's something challenging to find them. Yeah. Like I know I have in my Pinterest, I have so many recipes saved. Like I have to filter whenever I try to find them because I have so many. Um, it says, make sure to click on the Amazon coupon link. Thank you. You want to always save. That's for sure. <laughs> I'm all about savings. Okay, guys. And we're getting close here on time. So I'm going to keep going. And then we're going to take a couple questions here after. Okay. Water bottles. This one I found. Does anybody else have their favorites? This one here is HydroSpark. You can actually use it as an app. That's what I was kind of looking for, for, um, for water bottles that'll help track your uh, intake, water intake. So we're going to actually go to the YouTube video here. So I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to pull that up separately. I have it on, already pulled up for you guys. Whoops, I have to escape out of that. Whoops, here we go. 
right here. I'm not gonna show the full Hydrate video. Spark Steel, the world's smartest water bottle. Powered by Hydrate's patented sensor puck technology, Hydrate Spark Steel accurately tracks and saves your water intake all day. When it's time to drink, this bottle glows with one of several customizable glow colors and patterns. A vacuum insulated stainless steel body works with ice and keeps drinks cold for 24 hours. Each steel color is powder coated and sweat proof. Hydrate Spark Steel has a long lasting rechargeable battery along with Okay, I'm going to actually just copy this for anybody who wants to go back and watch it. Um, anybody else, I'm curious, use, did you guys, were you able to see that video? I'm hoping because I'm not showing that it's sharing my screen. Let me pop out. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. It's taken a second. Okay. I'm going to actually exit out of the screen and try to get you guys back. Ugh. <laughs> Bear with me. I am attempting to get back onto full screen. Okay, stop sharing. Here we go. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Gotta love technology. Okay, here is the link. I'm going to paste it. Um, okay, you saw it good. I'm glad. I'm so happy. Um, Susan said, I saw it. If you're watching um, or you're listening as a podcast version, guys, the links um, for all of this will be on the uh, the, the handout. Okay. So you can always go back. I know it's kind of odd if you're listening to a podcast and it doesn't have the actual picture forms. Um, it looks like, um, Anna says, how much does that cost? I think the cost was, I'll have to look back here. Um, I think it was like 40, $50. Um, Sarah says, I like the visual reminder with lights. I need to tend to ignore my drink app. Catherine says the reminder lights is very much better than using the noisy timer. Um, okay, I'm going to go back to sharing my screen. And we're popping back on that. Um, cost $20 to $90. I think it depends on whether you bought the plastic one versus that metal version that I was showing you. So that may be the difference right there on that. Oops. Okay. Um, so here I have one on the smartwatches and we kind of talked a little bit about those when we were talking about syncing to the step bet app or syncing to the, um, health apps on your phone, Fitbit that versus Apple watch. And so we did a little research. Um, both of them are great options. Fitbit cost is typically $60 to 300 apples, a little bit more expensive, 250 to $800. So the difference is we have, I have listed here, um, on our handout, but Fitbit, just in brief, um, it's, you know, it does a lot. They both do a lot of the same things. I think the, the biggest thing Fitbit may have a longer battery life, um, versus Apple, a little bit of a battery, less battery. Um, Apple does have a built-in GPS, whereas Fitbit may not have that built in. Um, Apple watches are swim proof. So that's a big thing for some people if they're wanting, you know, sweat proof, swim proof, that type of thing. We got a few more here, so I'm going to keep going. Canva. Does anybody use Canva? Oh my God, you guys, is such a great thing. Like if you're wanting to create weight loss journals, tracking pages, before and after pictures, templates, um, meal plans, and so much more. Almost everything that I've created for you guys has been in Canva. Um, and so like here's my before and after for those of you who've not seen that before. Um, that was my before pictures. That was at two years. And then that is at 10 years. So, um, 
just a little bit of a little fun thing, Canva, C-A-N-V-A. Um, it is a free, there is a free version and there's a paid version. The paid version is only $12.99 a month. I actually use the paid version because it has so many more graphics, but um, it's so fun to create lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of fun stuff. And I noticed there's a lot of people chatting. Um, Anna says, I just started using Canva. I'm going back. Okay. <laughs> okay. Terry says, did you show us where to find the documentation on Bariatric Pal? Um, I'm not sure. Bariatric Pal is actually, I'm not that familiar with Bariatric Pal, to be honest with you. Um, Barytastic was the app that I kind of mentioned before. So maybe someone else might be able to help you with that one. Sorry, did you share with where to find your documentation? Oh, I have a hand. Um, I will share that here very, very shortly. Stay with me. I'm going to go ahead and jump on and I will show you where to find all of these, these things here after we get done here. I'm almost done, really. Social media, you guys already know about this. You know, there's so many social media platforms to get on. Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, WhatsApp, Twitter, TikTok, LinkedIn, YouTube, Snapchat. Lots and lots of bariatric friendly places to go. Okay. Um, you know, vote for your favorite. Which is your favorite? Should we take it like a little, can I do a poll on here? Create. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to have you guys put it in the chat box because it'll take a few minutes and I don't want to waste your time. But tell me what your favorite app is. Like, what is your favorite for bariatric patients? Like, what do you find the most support in? Where do you find it? And then I also want to say, you know, another thing is um, a lot of people will use online therapist, um, online mental health specialist for help um, as an app. So some therapy apps, BetterHelp, Regain, Calm, My Strength, Cerebral, Comery, Talkspace, Ginger. I looked, I've not had any personal experience with any of these, but I will say that um, I do know that there's some employers that pay for these services. Check with your human resources agent. I know our um, ProCare actually has so many paid visits to a mental health specialist. I think, you know, everybody goes through different things in their lives, whether you do have it needed for yourself, for your children, for your spouse. It's a wonderful thing that's available. And, you know, sometimes you need help almost immediately. Maybe you're having stress, you're having some mood issues, you know, you're having um, just life in general. So feel always feel free to reach out. Looks like Carrie says, calm is wonderful. Um, and then your bariatric program. A lot of them will offer certain types of bariatric support apps to help you as well. Maybe they have their support groups on that. It could be they have meal planning or prep, uh, meal prep. Um, they may have access to your dietary phases, maybe to fitness coaches, nutritionists, therapists, your nurses, your doctors, you know, reach out and check, ask them, do you have any apps that help me or connect to your program? Sometimes you can access your medical records through apps nowadays too. And I got one more. So here is how you find, um, these handouts. So you go to the ProCare website, which I'll give you the link to. And there's a little tab at the top. It says Barry Connected. Under that is our support group hub. And then under that is our support group handouts. I'm actually going to stop sharing for just a tiny hot minute here. And I will show you how to get there. So um, I'm going to share my screen. And I'm going to exit out from this, from our presentation. And I'm going to ProCare. I have it pulled up for you already. So I'm going to copy this link here. Um, here is the app. I need to move some of, oops, I need to, I actually need to just, there we go, right up here. There was some things in the way. You guys can't see them because they're pop-ups. But um, I have, here is the support group hub. Here is the handouts. And here are other resources. So I'm going to show you the handouts first. This presentation is actually fairly close to the top right here, bariatric surgery tracking tools. So if you're um, listening to this podcast, you just go to ProCareNow.com 
Barry Connected, and then Barry Connected Handouts. Super easy. You click on it. It should pull up super easy. We also have, here's also um, Connie's Chair Yoga and um, Part 1 and Part 2. We have a lot of other handouts related to support groups that we've done in the past. So feel free if anything talks to you and you want to check it out, feel free to pop that up. I also want to just say too, if you want to stay connected to our community, um, another way besides YouTube, you know, subscribing, these are all of our upcoming lives for each month. So each month we'll have it our lives on there. You can actually access the replay um, until the end of the month. So um, for example, this one here, which was on Crusher Craving is one of one of our most popular ones. Um, you click on to you register for the event and it gives you access, even though it was in May 31st, um, you have access up until the end of this month. We just talked to Dr. Susan Mitchell this last week. She did one on seven bariatric friendly carbs. That was a great, great one. Um, and then next week we have Amber Thompson. She's ca- talking about the price of perfection, the truth behind plastic surgery. Um, she's had some plastic surgery. She had bariatric surgery and then plastics. So um, tune in for that one. You know, all you got to do is just click and subscribe to any of these. They're all 100% free, guys. There's no cost. And then this one here is another. Also, if you missed it earlier on the same page is a little link to our YouTube channel as well. So um, I also want to just give a big shout out to ProCare Health. If you've heard of ProCare, let us know. I know several of you said yes. Um, If you've not tried ProCare, Check it, check us out. Get a free sample right here. Um, we have a list of products. Some of our most popular are our uh, bariatric multivitamins. We're one of the very least cost out there. Um, one bottle of bariatric multivitamins in the 30 count, that was a 34 count. In the 30 count is only $11.99. If you're on a subscription price, you can cancel subscription at any time, guys. Um, cancel after your first order if you wanted to. There's no requirement. Um, to do anything lifelong. Um, but try us out. You know, there's, we have, we have, uh, calcium supplements, we have protein products, and we have all kinds of therapeutics. Go in there, check it, check it out. Um, and if you have any questions, you're always welcome to send me a message. I'll put my email. Um, before I stop sharing though, I also wanted to just mention we have something we're sponsoring. I'm super, super excited for this. Um, ProCare Health is sponsoring the Chi. Weekender. Um, It's an upcoming event that's being hosted in Chicago. Uh, It is um, the weekend of, uh, let's see here, I think it's in August. And um, I don't see the date on this specific itinerary. It's probably on the next piece I'm going to be showing you. We're going to be, this is super exciting. It's on our Instagram channel. We are going to be um, giving away one free ticket. Actually, there may be a surprise later coming up next month. So stay tuned, but one free ticket and hotel room for this event. Um, To register for that, you answer the question, how does the bariatric community power your body and soul? And do a short little reel if you're an Instagram person. Um, 10 to 15 seconds, maybe longer. You tag Barry Adventures, ProCare, and Our Sleeve Life. In a bonus entry, you can share to your story and tag Barry Adventures, ProCare, and Our Sleeve Life podcast. Um, Also, big bonus entry, tag Barry Bestie and get them to enter the giveaway to receive 10 bonus entries. Now, this started today and it only goes through tomorrow at 11.59 p.m. The winner will be announced 621. Um, We will be doing a live event next week. Um, I'm sorry, on the 21st, and we'll be announcing that. So go to ProCare Health's Instagram page. I'll copy this if that helps you and check that out. Check it out, especially, you know, if you're close. So I'm going to, if you're listening, just go to ProCare Health. Like if you're just on the podcast version, go to ProCare Health and, um, Look at our Instagram page. Maybe over by then, but look for July. July, we will have another one, July 2023. 
it looks like, okay, so we had a couple questions I want to address. So if you're willing to stay on just a little bit longer with me, I will address some of these questions because this was pretty packed full of information and I want to make sure. So one of the things that people ask was about hair loss and I'm going to get to that. So stay with me if you, if you can, I'd love to continue to share, um, here on the ProCare Health website. Um, a couple things that I would recommend if you're struggling with hair loss. Um, one of our most popular, of course, a bariatric multivitamin is going to have everything you need to help support that. It's going to have the B vitamins. It's going to have um, uh, biotin, which is a, a strong amount of biotin, which helps support that. But if uh, a lot of people will take additional biotin, and we do have that under our therapeutics, which I'll list here and show you. We actually have a couple different great um, amounts of biotin. We have um, the 10,000 and I think we also have it listed further on down in the in the 5,000. Um, right now you can save 26% off of that for 120 count and that would last you like literally if you took it every day, what is that? Three months, four months? <laughs> it lasts a, a little while. So um, let me stop sharing for a second here. And I'm going to kind of go to a few more of the questions. Um, I tried to incorporate some of the questions that we had before the event as I was talking. Heather says 27 months, let's see, 27 months post-op from VSG. I no longer get the signals of being full. I also don't experience dumping as before. I am now able to eat more and intake more sugar. I've noticed I've started gaining a few pounds and starting to worry. Has anyone else experienced this? I can talk from personal experience. That's the procedure I had, the VSG, you know, personally the same, you know, sometimes I, sometimes I, my, my, my full signals aren't as much as strong as they were. I'm 10 years out now, but I can tell you, I still not, am not able to eat the same amount that I ate in the beginning. And I still feel like my surgery does work for me. So, you know, maybe if, um, you know, maybe if that's an issue, some of the things that's helped me is fruits and vegetables. Those will help fill you up, you know, um, and, they have a lot of fiber in them. Fiber is actually helps keep you more satisfied and it helps fill up your stomach. You know, it doesn't, these things don't have as much calories and they help fill you up. So you stay satisfied longer. Um, adding protein in there can also do the same too. So I know that's a very brief answer for a long question, but hopefully that helps a little bit. Okay. Do these cost money? So Terry asked, did these cost money? And I, I guess that's being any of these resources that we're talking about. So um, if you're talking about any of the resources that I'm, I've been sharing, um, most of the apps were free. There are paid versions to those. I think we talked about them as we kind of went through them. Um, if you're talking about these classes, these classes are all free. There's no, nothing at all. We're just here to, to help you. You know, what, you know how kind of what we think is people who stay engaged in the bariatric community, stay engaged. And so um, when they're doing that, they're doing all the things to kind of keep them successful after a weight loss surgery. And that's what it's all about. And when you're successful, you're going to take your bariatric surgery vitamins too. So that's why ProCare sponsors this as part of their part of trying to help. You know, it's not just, we, we want people to be successful. We want them to do really good. Um, it looks like I might have some of the other questions regarding attendance, just know that um, you guys' attendance will be recorded and I will be sending that in. So no worries if you're from Chia Manual or if you're from a different um, facility. But I'm going to check real quick on all the questions and see if there's anything else. Um, I know there was a lot of questions about weight regain. I also just want to add if that was you in there, there was probably, I mean, a lot, maybe 20 of them. Um, and what I will say is we, I'm trying to host, um, one of our upcoming support groups to talk about specifically that topic. I also do have a YouTube video on that. Um, it should be under either support groups or, under um, under our YouTube channel somewhere, if you want to kind of check that out, see if you can find that. But um, I'm I'm looking to have a physician on and help us talk about weight regain. So if that was one of the questions um, that any of you submitted, and 
um, excess skin. Um, excess skin typically is not covered by Obamacare. I don't think I would definitely call, um, a plastic surgery office and see, because every, every state may be different. I don't know. Um, I just dealt with Missouri and we didn't do plastic surgery. We just did, um, bariatric surgery. So I did talk, we did have a plastic surgeon come in three or four times and talk to our patients about that. Um, so if that is you, then no, I would just call your, uh, plastic surgery office. Sometimes I want to do a consultation, but they can usually answer that question. A lot of times they'll call, they'll pay for a panulectomy, which is like a tummy tuck. If you have medical conditions that qualify, but as far as other surgeries, um, like arms or breast augmentation or like the floor de lee, which goes all the way around the back, then a lot of times they won't pay for more extended versions or like thigh lifts and that type of thing. So that's about what we have time for right now. I thank you guys. Appreciate all of you. Um, thank you for sticking with me and everybody have a wonderful evening. Continue to check out ProCare Health for your bariatric supplement needs and for education and resources. Thanks everybody. Have a great evening. Take care. Thank you so much.